Hello and welcome back. My name is Amit Chopra from Refinitiv and this is the second part of our conversation with Mr. Mukarram Atasi, the Head of Investment Management at National Bank of Fujairah. Um, Mukarram, in the first part, we you enlightened us that we need to obviously start planning early. Uh, moving on, we'd like to listen to you a little bit more about the goal setting and how do we go about doing that. For example, again, we have a data point that we can look at which says that about 74% of the people surveyed in this um, YouGov research were thinking of saving between 1,000 and thinking of having 1,000 to $4,000 as monthly income when they retire. Um, is that sufficient or how do you see that data point per se? The most important thing in my view is having a plan uh, because failing to plan is planning for failure, <laughs> if I may say. So having a plan and having setting a goal, whether good or bad, is, is, is the most important step. And sticking to that goal as much as, as, as possible and revisiting that goal every now and then, depending on personal circumstance. But as a benchmark, I would say, say starting with a 10% of your monthly income to be set aside and to be saved is a good starting point. Okay, so what kind of questions do I need to ask myself or people that are actually watching this before they set a goal for themselves in terms of how much money they should need so, for retirement? Uh, starting the earliest possible, as we said in the last episode, is the most important part because that will give you much, a lot of room to maneuver and to correct anything that needs to be corrected. The more time you give yourself, the more you can allow to correct the errors or modifications or additions that, that you need to change to in life circumstances. Change in life circumstances. And now you are married, you have a baby, uh, you know, etc., etc. So. All of this, uh, uh, as we said, life cycle, you know, you have, you have certain uh, benchmarks or certain uh, points in your life. You are single, you get married, etc., etc. you have children. So all of this will require you to increase those uh, savings as you go along because you will have obviously more expenses going forward. So it is important to set aside, to start with a good discipline. So if we bring this conversation and sort of ground it to the home reality today, um, the UAE government announced a retirement visa. Mm. Um, and the benchmarks that they set for retirement were about 20,000 dirhams a month mm -hmm. of income once you stop working, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or have assets invested in property mm -hmm. uh, worth 2 million dirhams mm -hmm. and above. How large or small do you think these targets are and, and does that sort of conceptualize at least a starting point? Excellent. Very good. So that makes your exercise as a planner much easier because now you have a set goal. You, you know what, what you need. So they have set the 2 million, the 20,000 income, etc. You need to work backwards in order to be able to achieve that. Obviously, if you start early, uh, your, the returns and the cumulative returns on your potential investments is likely to, is likely to, to, to help you uh, plan for that goal. But if you leave it for the last minute, uh, you will need a, a substantial amount to put aside in order to achieve that goal. Thank you very much, Mukaram. That's what we have for this episode and see you in the next one. Thank, Thank you. you again. Thank you.